<laughs> Today is June 27th, 2016, and the kids are going to be late for school. <gasps> Last Monday of the school year! I get to you. Been spending the morning working on a paper that I have to, to complete for a class, which is a couple months late. But anyway, it doesn't matter about that. The paper is about church planting in Canada. And one of the primary sources that I'm using, and I find this fascinating, is a new research that just came out from Lifeway Research, which is out of the US, but they did a survey of church planting in Canada. Now, church planting is basically starting new churches. Here's what's fascinating about the survey. It's the largest, most thorough research ever done on church planting in Canada. And so you would think it's a big, big survey. 141 churches is all that participated in the survey. So even the fact that the biggest survey ever done on church planting Canada is still barely over 100 churches in a country of 35 million people tells you something about church planting in Canada. Also interesting fact, when you have a Starbucks gold card, you get free refills. So which means I've had too much coffee already this morning. So now I'm gonna go have lunch with my wife. What do you, what do you, what do you got there? Avocado. A vegan avocado. For a yummy cold treat with coffee and ice cream that has coconut milk. And I mean, I don't know, I'd say it's like a 10. Okay, all right, all right. That's a good number. 10 out of 10 is pretty, pretty good. Awesome. Right, two things. One, I'm spending time with Rochelle today because this week the kids finished school and the time with just her and me is coming to an end. The second thing is, is that Thrive loves to play Rihanna's work. So I'm not putting this music in the vlog, Thrive is. Do you love to work, work, work? I, I do like this song, I'm not gonna lie. I've been having teeth issues since I've crashed my bike at seven years old and lost my front teeth. But now it's a new stage where as I look to get possibly getting implants put into my face, um, one of the downfalls of implants is that once you have implants, you can never get braces. At 39 years old, I'm not really thinking that I'm going to get braces, but I got to cover all my bases here. So today I get to visit my kid's orthodontist. So it looks like there's a possibility that at 39 years old, I'll be getting braces. The doctor was awesome. Gave me a little goodie bag. Smiles with style. I'll read that later. Oh, nice. A travel mug for when I travel. Hopefully I'll be having some nice teeth. Uh, probably in the next two and a half years, my teeth will be nice. I hope. What are you doing? Playing hand go sleep, but oh, oh, yeah. over and around. If it says I'm cheating, I don't. Oh, downstairs. Oh, in the office. You're the, one, you're the one seeking. She's hiding. You're seeking. Good luck. Hmm. So plant-based on the prairies. What do you got going there? Oh, vegan chili. Some baking potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Whoops. Nope. Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> so finally, having four kids is paying off. Got the oldest kid babysitting the other three kids. My Rochelle and I take a walk.
like Steph Curry, so close. Still, looks like I teach these young bucks how to throw down. <laughs> this is one of the nicer evenings that we've had so far on this walk. This has been a pretty enjoyable walk. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate this walk? It's been pretty up there as far as like, it's not windy, it's warm out. I'm with you, of course. <laughs> Of course. Of course. I mean, what? I need a number. Okay. Um, I would say, and I, do, I haven't had to go to the bathroom yet. Which okay. Is that's a huge win for me. That's a win. Um, probably a 10. Ooh, 10. I would go eight and a half because I always want room for improvement. But I'm not arguing with a 10, though. I'm just going to say there's been times where I've been tempted to squat behind some of those little flowy weed things <laughs> and pee. <laughs> Yeah, not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. It's a great night. <laughs> I think I'd ask for my money back for that fertilizer. Green drop, you did not do a good job on that lawn. I would definitely ask for my money back.